Okay, okay, we are back with some more Caroline Polacek. Pretty impossible. Is this is this a play on words? Pretty impossible? Um I don't know, but we'll find out. Produced by Caroline and Danny L. Harley. Okay, man, let's check it out. Okay, dude. Mm. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Whoa, those drums and perks be rhythming up, dude. They be rising the beat. They're rising the beat. Hold on. Go back to the... In it. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh. I'm loving the piano that came in the other ear, but there's like a ah, uh, is it? Could it be a triangle? Technically, it's just a high pitch frequency, like kind of like slicing on a metal rod. It sounds like and it's in the right ear, man, and it's it's very unnoticeable. Thank God, because like it's very low. Because I, but if that was louder, dude, I mean it's there. And I'm noticing it. I don't like when it's like just high frequency things like that. Like like in some of not hyper pop, yeah, kind of in like hyper pop sometimes, where it's just like. Ting, 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 like really loud, you know, hurting your ears and stuff. But it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But everything else, dude, holy shoot. Holy shoot. Is she um, Australian? Who's sweet Eliza? Oh, that's her middle name. Okay. A ref this is probably a reference to Virginia Wolf's Orlando, in which Queen Elizabeth I is a key figure that holds great symbolic significance. Interesting. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. But let's keep going. Sweet on the core. Dude, these drums are insane. And that line too. Ah. Oh god. That was cool. Oh, this is cool back. Oh dude, it's coming back and it's cool because there's like the oh wow. Dude, dude, her music's sick. Wait, when she said dizzy, the way it sounded, because it sounds like she like took it up, I think. Dizzy? The way the way the pitch rises with dizzy, it doesn't sound natural. It sounds like they edited that in production and they just pulled up the uh the pitch for that part of the word which would be really interesting as well because like she can definitely do that on her own but it gives it a more digital effect to it and it kind of sounds like it has that hmm i wonder dude someone could sample this that piano again mm. dude
All the little inflictions, inflictions, I always forget if it's inflictions or inflections. I think it's infleck. All the little inflections add some like flavor here and there and up there and all around, dude. But I'm kind of lost. Then you got one eye on the lane and one eye on the lava. Volcanoes represent, oh yeah, true. Represent feelings of passion bubbling up to the surface. Hmm. I hate when genius moves the thing for me. Spitting out, yeah, I respect that, but I was born to get you home. Who is you? Is spinning out and having these chaotic, inarguably dangerous sexual experiences. But a desire is not limited to sex, especially with this subject. It's romantic, reaching beyond chaos into more vulnerable aspects of desire. She wants to keep her partner safe. Hmm. What about the velvet thing? This may be a reference to Blood and Butter, where Polachek writes, When the world is a bed, give me green and ribbon red. Your body has the body power lying at the foot of Linden. That's a place in London. Is that a place? I was going to say London. I still don't get it. I still don't get it. I still don't get it. I'm not in on the joke or the line. Um. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, wow. Interesting. The bass coming in now too with it. <clears throat> the strings, everything. That's a lot of da 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 does. I don't wanna, I wanna listen. Oh, you know what have been a good idea here? <clears throat> she kept doing the da da does, but she kept doing this at the same time as well, the pretty impossible thing, where it's like the two things at the same time, you know what I mean? Oh, I love when that happens. That would've been cool to hear. Oh, it's lightening up. Mm. Wow, those strings, dude. Holy moly ravioli. That shit was nuts. Wow. Kind of cutty vibes. I get why Connor from Turning the Tables likes this. I get it. There is like a psychedelic nature or influence on her music from the stuff I've heard so far. And he's a big cutty stan. He's a big cutty stan and Mac Miller fan, dude. Like he loves them both. And it's crazy because so do fucking I, man. I grew up on the motherfuckers, dude. And uh, he was there for that as well. So it's really cool. Uh, shouts out Turning the Tables. Damn, man. This was fucking fire. Holy moly. Uh, you know, I'm such a student of classic pop songwriting, and I, of course, still feel like there's more for me to learn. There's always more to learn. I hate when people are like, oh, I know everything. Or, you know, like, sure, like, like maybe if you, like, work really hard and you learn a lot about something, there's always more to learn, dude. There's always more. Even the masters have more to learn, dude. Like, there's never not more to learn. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, you use the words experimental and pop as if they're at odds. But you know, for me, quite frankly, I think a lot of music that calls itself experimental is very traditional. Is using the ideas that have been around since 50s and 60s, using the same techniques. That's the thing, man. Nothing is completely like original or experimental because so much time has passed where everyone has already experimented with everything that's like we can hear. All the frequencies we can hear and stuff, dude. It's been around. It's been around, dude. Um... I forget what was the thing. There's like no one's actually like original because it's just everyone is influenced by this and that and this and that. There's not one person that's not influenced by some kind of music or artist or whatever, dude. Um, <clears throat> but it's like the combination of those influences that creates something more fresh. Whereas pop music, all these definitions just feel completely ridiculous to me. I guess I could, I guess I just make that stuff that excites me and that I want to hear based, based. Wow, dude. 
those strings at the end dude right yeah man has she used that intro and outro melody somewhere else da 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 the best valentine gift i've ever had oh feel some ditto vibes because of the the onomono i guess they're not onomono ps but the the vote the, what are those things called like da 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 what's that called i don't know what that's called onomono ps like making the sound of like you're you're mimicking like a gun like pow or like boom like a bomb or something you know like it it's connected to something but that that does aren't connected which is even more meaningful when i remember that she's featured on the album too oh really oh damn oh damn we gotta check that out dude unstructured experimental songs based <laughs> with your lipstick aware miss carol <laughs> sounds a little bit like the melody from smoke hmm mother still singing the song in my head all the song of the year potential really freaking good i like this dude i like this this is fun this is fun dude i is it experimental yeah i guess it is but i feel like more it's like psychedelic influence rather than like i get what she was saying about the experimental aspect and people trying to put genres in boxes or put songs in genre boxes and stuff just enjoy the music dude um I like this a lot. Keep it elite, dude. Keep everything was fire. Her vocals were fire. Her singing, the da 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 does, the little movements she was doing with her voice, the production on every aspect. Like, keep it elite, man. Keep. What will I rate this track? I'm going. The verdict is bang nine. The verdict is bang nine eight. I'm going 9-8. I'm going 9-8. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. This is definitely going to my Spotify, dude. Uh, and I'm going to listen to it some more, man. This shit's pure fire. 9-8 for me, man. Good stuff. Delicious. Very delicious.